Uh, hello children, today we are going to do integers. The first section we are going to do is counting, ordering and comparing integers. As you would notice, the first number line I have on the screen is a number line that you would normally see. And that is a number line that starts with 0 and has all your counting numbers. Now what is the other thing you will notice is that on either side of the number line there are arrows. The arrow on your right will show you that the number line continues. And that means that numbers are infinite. On the left you will notice in front of the zero is another arrow. That arrow is going towards the left. It means that there is something else behind it in front of the zero. Now integers are all whole numbers that are either positive, that are positive and negative numbers. If you look at the next number line, you will see your zero in the middle. And then you will see numbers positive one, positive two, positive three, so on on your right. Then if you go to the left, you will see numbers negative one, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Now you've noticed that I said negative and not minus, and I didn't say plus. And that is because minus and plus are operational signs. The negative and the positive are integers. So numbers greater than 0 on your right are called positive numbers. Positive numbers have a positive sign in front of the number. Example, positive 1, positive 2, positive 20, positive, 20, positive 99. Numbers on the left are less than 0 and are called negative numbers. Negative numbers have a negative sign in front of the number. Example, negative 1, negative 2, negative 15, and negative 56. Now, we are now going on to counting of integers. Numbers moving to the right are getting bigger. For example, if I started at negative 2 and I want the numbers to get bigger, then I will go from negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, and so on. So now let's try some counting. Let's count forwards from negative 1 to positive 5. And you can do this with me. So let's start. Negative 1, 0, positive 1 positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. Good. Now let's count backwards. And we're going to start from positive 3 and go to negative 5. Let's start. Positive 3, positive 2, positive 1, 0, 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Now I've got a little exercise for you. Let's add, and we're going to add negative 1 to each of the numbers starting from positive 2. Positive 2, positive 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, the next one we're going to add positive 2. And we're going to start from negative 4. Negative 4, negative 2, 0, positive 2, positive 4. Now we go on to our next section, which is ordering integers. You, have, you, know, you will notice that I have a number line in front of you. The number line is from negative 6 
on the left going on to positive 6 on the right. Ordering integers means arranging them in ascending or descending order. Let us arrange these integers in ascending order. Ascending order means starting from the smallest to the biggest. So if you look at your number line, the numbers on your left are smaller than numbers on your right. So what do you think will our first integer be? So the smallest one would be, if you look at 0, positive 3, negative 1, positive 2, negative 2, positive 1. Good. Our smallest one is negative 2. Then we've got negative 1, then 0, then positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. Now that is our ascending order. Now we're going to arrange integers in descending order. So descending order means starting from the biggest to the smallest. And if you look on the number line, you'll notice that our positive numbers are bigger and our negative numbers are smaller. So if you look at negative 1, positive 1, 0, positive 2, negative 2, and negative 3. Yes, our biggest one there is positive 2. So let's start with positive 2. Positive 2, positive 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. The next section is comparing integers. When we compare integers, we use the symbol greater than and less than. Now, how do we know if an integer is big or small? You will notice that there is a picture of a thermometer in front of you. Now, let's imagine if you were talking about temperature and somebody said, today is one degree, but yesterday was minus three degrees. Now, most people will say minus three and not negative three. And they'll say, oh, but it was very cold yesterday. Today, it is slightly warmer. That's because minus 3 or negative 3 is much colder. So, if I say that it is 10 degrees Celsius today, but yesterday it was minus 2 degrees Celsius or negative 2 degrees Celsius, which reading is lower? Definitely the negative 2 degrees Celsius. So we can say that 10 degrees Celsius is greater than negative 2 degrees Celsius. The same will apply if we are looking at an elevator or a lift in a building. Now let's look at this, the lifts in a building. Elevators in tall buildings move from higher floors to floors below ground. And most times floors below ground are where the parking is. So if you are on the fifth floor, you can go to a lower floor or, as a person would say, I would like to go down to level neg negative two or go to a lo lower level or we will descend to negative two. So what that means is numbers that are going backwards are actually lower. So now we can use our greater than and less than sign to compare these integers. Look at negative 3 and negative 1. Which do you think is smaller? Yes, the negative 3 is smaller. So the first one, you will use a less than sign. Negative 3 is less than negative 1. Now let's go to 0 and positive 1. Good. 0 is less than positive 1. Negative 6 and positive 2. Your negative 6 is less than positive 2. 
Now let's look at positive 3 and negative 3. Positive 3 is greater than negative 3.